it's Sam again, and today I'm going to be showing you how to get Linux on your computer, laptop, or whatever. Um, now, th this will let you get either Kubuntu, Ubuntu, or pretty much any of the Linux operating systems. And that's what I'm going to show you how to do today. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do, oh, and by the way, this is completely free, 100% legal. Because the Linux is a completely 100% free operating system. And this won't remove Windows if you have Windows on it. It won't remove it. It'll just let when you turn on your computer, it'll let you choose between uh, uh, turning on Kubun tur booting up into uh, Linux or Windows. So what you're going to do is you're going to open up pretty much any internet browser. You're going to go to download.com, see download.com, and then what you're going to do is up there, you're going to type in Wubi, W-U-B-I, Wubi, enter, and it should have the latest version of Wubi on it, Let's see, scroll down, Okay, so there it is. Will be 9.10. So all you're going to do is download it. And then it'll only take like a couple seconds because it's a very small file. Okay, so what you're going to want to do, I'm going to save it to my desktop. And I'm just going to press save. And as you see, it's going very fast. It's almost done. Okay, it's done now. Okay, so now it's over here on my desktop, so I'm just going to open it up and I'm going to run it. If you're on Windows Vista, you might have to right click and click run, ad run as administrator for it to work. And then all you're going to do is right here, you're going to choose the installation size. I'm just going to choose, choose the lowest 3 gigs. I'm not sure what it does if you choose higher one. So at the very least, you're going to want 3 gigs of free space on your computer. Then you're going to choose the operating system. You can choose Ubuntu, Ubuntu Netbook Remix, Kubuntu, Kubuntu Netbook, Xubuntu, Mythbuntu. I'm going to do Kubuntu because I've heard it's pretty cool for like customization and stuff. And then you can choose the language. Mine is English, of course. And for user, I'm not going to show you this. But I'm going to type in a username. So then, if you have, make sure you have all the configurations right. And make sure you typed in the password right. And then you're going to click install. Now, this is what takes the longest. It's going to... Oh, let's see. If your firewall might want to block something, so just unblock. I can guarantee you this is safe. Because from download.com, it's well, it's actually from the company CNET. And that's like a real company, so it doesn't have a virus, because if they had viruses on their website, then they'd be in big trouble by now. Because they're a very large, popular website and company. Okay, so this is pretty much the thing that's going to take the longest. Especially, it depends on your how good your internet connection is. For me, it's saying it's going to take about an hour. But, yeah, so I'll come back to this when it's done downloading, and then I'll show you the rest of the steps. Okay, so once it's done, it should begin the install automatically. If it doesn't, I'm pretty sure all you have to do is click install or next or whatever. But it should begin automatically once it's done. <clears throat> so, it'll take a few minutes to install. I'm not exactly sure because I left this just running overnight to let it do its thing. So, <clears throat> but by experience in doing this in the past, I'm pretty sure it just takes a couple minutes to do. So once it's done, it's going to say either reboot now or I want to automatically reboot later. You could choose that option if you want, but I'm just going to reboot it now, of course, so I can just show you. <coughs> so then you're going to click finish, and your computer's going to start rebooting. <coughs> this computer shuts down pretty fast. Okay. <coughs> okay. So like I said, every time you turn it on, 
boot it up. Um, it'll give you the option to choose between Microsoft, Windows XP, prevent, you know, Windows, or this even works for Windows Vista and Windows 7. So I'm going to boot up into Kubuntu, of course. Then you just press enter. This might work from for Mac. I'm not sure. As far as I know, I've only used this on Windows. I've never heard of this being tried used on Mac, but um, there's pr there probably is programs that you could use to put Linux on Mac too. I mean, this one might even work, but I'm not sure. So <clears throat> I suggest if you have a Mac, just doing more research on it if you really want Linux that bad. <clears throat> I mean, personally, if I had a Mac, I probably would just keep the uh, Mac operating system because it's a really good operating system anyway. So. so at this point it's just going to be doing a bunch of setting up and installation processes. This might take a while. I'm probably going to guess like maybe 10 minutes to do all this, maybe 20 minutes. But you just got to wait and I'll come back to when all this is done. Okay so once all the installation is done in Linux it's going to automatically reboot by itself. You're going to restart Kubuntu again, so just press the down arrow and then press enter. Okay. So, let's see. Okay, so, once it's booted up, <clears throat> this is the Kubuntu style, so I'm pretty sure this is the Kubuntu style. It says Ubuntu, but it should be Kubuntu. Yours might be a different style if it's Ubuntu. Okay, so I'm going to type in my username. And I'm going to type in password. Okay. So. Type in the username, type in the password. Should start and should start booting up. I don't know what it's doing exactly. Okay. Oh there we go. Okay. So let's see. Okay. So those little things are gonna pop up that just popped up and then this the whole desktop, you're gonna start seeing the whole desktop. And Okay, I guess that's the sound of when you log in or something. <laughs> okay. So you just let it all kind of load up and then you're you should be good to go. Congratulations, you now have Linux on your computer or laptop. So thanks YouTubers for watching and please rate, comment and subscribe. Thanks YouTubers. Bye.